Evening, y'all. Um, I hope y'all doing well. I hope life is coming along and you're able to plug out the little things on that list you got that's amounting or decreasing, whatever the case might be. But I just hope you're doing well and I want to throw out a uh, topic of conversation, another little toolkit item. So, the other day I got home. It turns out my house key got boogered up. I don't know if you can see it, but it got a little smashed. And that's after I went ahead and tried to bend it back into place and file it and all kinds of other daggone things. Point is, I need a new key. So the question arises, well, how am I going to get in my house without damaging the hell out of it? Does one normally leave a window open? Well, that's not exactly a secure situation, is it? I guess it all depends on each and every individual situation. So, years ago, I had my... my hobbies branch off into a new realm and I wound up finding these things now, that's my wallet that ain't much got more paper in it and cards in it than it has money but one thing that you can do it if I can get this sucker to come out of here this one's well used This is about the size, just a, about two, the thickness of two to three business cards, okay? And what is in it? Now I'll show you. She slides open, and this used to have a label on it called the Harry Houdini. Now, in the center there, that's what we call our torsion wrenches. It's a miniature lock pick set that has four different tools in your torsion wrench. I don't know how well I can, I wonder if I can get this weight up there. That might help out a little bit. This is one of my favorites. And if anybody knows about, uh, well, hang on a second. This is one of my favorites. This one is just a little, I don't even know what the hell they call this one, but it it works pretty good on standard locks. I'm no expert by any stretch of the means. Here's another one. Each of these only measure about three inches in length, maybe a hair longer. But this is your this is your one of your probes. And then you get into these. This right here is your standard rake. And this right here has another form of rake. It's just a little different. Now each one has their own different names and applications but as far as standard household locks go unless you're spending some buku bucks on them this will do the trick um, if you want to know how to go ahead and get into something like this I would recommend going out and checking uh, lock lab or Bosnian bill on YouTube uh, those two have some very good informative videos and it really is a good a good skill to have you don't have to have the greatest gizmos and gadgets to get into it um, but when it comes to doing things now I know some people are going to say in a grid down situation I'm going to use a master key and when they say master key <laughs> they're going to be talking about a, a sledgehammer or 
bolt cutters or whatever the case might be. But for my situation, I didn't want to go break it into my house and ruin the good lock when I can just go make get a key made and be done with it. Um, and this was only 20 bucks off of lockpickshop.com. 20 bucks. I mean, I don't know if chimes are, if the price has changed here lately because that was that was probably about three years ago I bought this. But um, it's come in handy for small instances here and now here and there but um legally you cannot pick any lock that is not yours or you have not been granted permission of and there's a whole nother thing on that and another reason to always always check out the legalities regarding that because uh it can wind you in a world of trouble but one good thing about this is not that I'm allowed to go on planes anymore because I don't have a real ID and I don't have no... Um, these are allowed on planes. You are allowed on a plane with small tools that are under three inches. I think it's like three, three, and, three inches and below. So it's, it's a nice kit and it's just something I recommend putting in you. Putting in you bag or your wallet or your purse whichever so hope that helps hope you all doing well stay safe out there and keep your heads up because it ain't over till it's over y'all get the picture